Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful DF to DM reading. I do hope that you're all well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. So this is going to be a channeled message from the Divine Feminine. So you could be a Divine Masculine or a Divine Feminine that's watching. It really doesn't matter. It could be a Feminine that's cross-watching. Um, and, it, you know, what What I'm actually sharing is, is just energy. So this is what the Divine Feminine energy would love to share and express to the Divine Masculine energy. Um, and these messages are very, very special because... This is in this moment. We're working through things and feeling things at different times. We're up and down like yo-yos when we're actually on this journey facing ourselves. So this is what wants to be shared in this moment from the Divine Feminine. So I'm going to be using the Divinely Guided Messages of Love to see what's coming through from the Divine Feminine. Thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you give me. I am so very, very grateful if you're actually showing up and listening to my readings, believing beautiful messages of love and support, and you know, sharing with me how the readings resonate with you, and for pressing that donation button because that really does help me keep my channel up and running. So, what is it the divine feminine would love to show and express what they've got to say for themselves today in this moment? Nice, clear message. New chapter, I'm trying to move on, yeah. Mm. I'm trying to move on, Divine Masculine. And that isn't moving on without you, Divine Masculine. This is, they're trying to move on and say goodbye to their old self and starting this new chapter, starting a whole new life for themselves, actually creating and manifesting their dreams and desires from this place of feeling confident and being who they truly are, which is unconditional love. So I am, tr I am trying to move on. I'm, I'm, I'm saying goodbye to what no longer serves me, and I'm excited about this new chapter of my life. I'm really excited and um, so enthusiastic about my future ahead because of the the downloads of information that I've received, the sacred knowledge. I can't live my life in that struggle anymore, being my old self. Um, and to actually get this new chapter un up and running and moving on has been something else. It's been quite challenging, but I'm ready for this. And um, I'm trying so hard <laughs> to say goodbye to what no longer serves me. But at times, you know, my old self does come in and distracts me and takes me back a bit. But I'm doing all that I can to actually step into this new chapter and I feel that, you know that I am um things are, you know I'm experiencing new things in my life and Salta I always feel connected to you so your divine feminine always feels connected to you and which is showing that your divine feminine is you know really learning to remain and trying so hard to remain in their truth because when they're in their truth being who they truly are, that is where you are, Divine Masculine. Um, so they're feeling you all the time, feeling your energy and just feeling this connection wherever they're going, whatever they're doing. And guilty, I feel pain from the damage I have caused. So that comes through in the main twin flame reading that went up today. Is that both twins, the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine, have been releasing in this preparation this guilt. The guilt of the, some some of the decisions that you've had to make on this journey. Um, maybe the Divine Feminines have got some guilt about what they've actually said to you, Divine Masculine, some of their actions that they've taken in the past. And feeling guilty about maybe the decisions that they've had to make through you coming into their life, moving away from friendships, moving away from relationship marriages letting go of the guilt of, you know, if there's children involved, all of those things. Um, and, you know, this is what you've been dealing with as well, Divine Masculine. Every slight thing the Divine Feminine especially feels guilty about, <laughs> feels very bad about. Um, so releasing this and they felt so much 
pain and damage um, and they're healing that within them and because of everything else that's come through they really are making a good job of this ego I let my pride get in the way of our connection yeah the ego got in the way of your connection your divine feminine wasn't coming from soul your divine feminine was coming from fear and they didn't feel connected to themselves didn't feel connected to higher power god the universe the angels um so in this time of not physically being with you they've been releasing their pain body their ego and learning to come from truth the unconditional love that they are and having this amazing relationship with god with higher power also so the ego was in the way and that's why they they felt so much pain so much damage felt this guilt and that had to be released and they're still releasing this particularly today um so ne neglected i failed to give you what you need yeah so there's the divine feminists are feeling this guilt you know as if they haven't done enough in this moment that they haven't done enough and there may be some guilt of something that's really standing out that's happened between you where they feel as if they've let you down and it was because of their pride their ego um so, you know, a lot of the time we we get these kind of messages from the Divine Masculine and we think, you know, it's always looked upon as if the Divine Masculines are the ones that have, you know, done something wrong all the time, but that isn't always the case. The Divine Feminines feel this guilt. They hold on to that guilt. And it is a big one to actually work through. And the Divine Feminines do make some decisions at times because of their ego, because they're in fear mode. Which at times, the divine feminine's actions are showing that divine, you know, masculine, that they aren't choosing themselves, which means that they're not choosing their masculine. The divine masculine can actually feel that. You can feel that divine masculine because you're one energy, you're one soul. So I'm going to see what comes through with messages from the other self from the divine feminines as well. So right in this moment, the divine feminines are being up front and they're feeling this guilt. Um, and, you know, energy changes all the time. We're working through, as I said at the beginning of the reading, and we're feeling things at different times. So right in this moment is about releasing this guilt and not allowing their pride, their ego to get in the way of this relationship anymore. Over worrying, overthinking. And they're trying, really trying, to stay focused and trying to move on and say goodbye to their old self. So the cards are really flipping all over the place and they can feel you. They can feel you. So ha what's coming through big time is the Divine Feminines have got this awareness, this strong awareness. Which, when you have that awareness, that is the truth. It's you taking responsibility and... That's why they can feel the divine masculine wherever they're going, whatever they're doing um, throughout their day. I love you with all my heart. I love you with all my heart. Divine oh, masculine. What else is coming through, please, divine feminines? What else do you want to share and express to your divine masculine in this moment? I want to dance with you. So the divine feminines want to dance with you, divine masculine. Um, and this is about dancing with life with you and, you know, not individually doing this by yourselves anymore, actually coming together and enjoying life from, from this place of truth. And you could be a dancer, Divine Masculine, or your Divine Feminine could be a dancer. But this is something that you both may have, be, have spoken about in the past, about dancing. You may have already danced with each other. And your divine feminine is thinking about dancing with you today because because when you're dancing you're free you're in that moment you're in you're moving your body you're happy you're feeling so much peace enjoyment because you're not worrying about the future you're not worrying about the past you're in that moment and they want to share that moment with you to have that closeness with you to be able to touch you, to be able to look into your eyes. Thank you for loving me so deeply. So that's very big. <laughs> Gratitude coming through. The Divine Feminines are so grateful that you have come into their life and that you do love them so deeply. And understanding 
so much about the pain that they experience with you coming into their life. They're, they're, it's showing through this reading that your divine feminine has pushed through. They're not just seeing you as the bad person now. They're seeing you as what you've actually done for them because you coming into their life has awakened them to the greatest love of all and that's to love themselves and to awaken them to God's love. So they're seeing this as, you know, you coming into my life, that is you loving me so deeply. And as I say to you, through all these readings, the main Twin Flame reading, the DM to DF readings and this reading, that when, you know, things, when we're, we're feeling that pain, that discomfort, we are being loved so deeply because it is opportunity for us to, to put love into the situation, to soothe ourselves, to get rid of that pain, to have the understanding that that pain shouldn't be there. So the Divine Feminines are seeing this so differently now and that they realise that actually them feeling that pain, that rejection, that abandonment, um, whatever it is that they experience, the lack, it's, it was, it's you coming into their life, loving them so deeply for them to, to be able to, to heal, to actually step into this new chapter, to say goodbye to their old self of struggle because you've changed their life. So thank you for loving me so deeply. And on the surface, in the 3D, in the physical, it may seem to you divine masculine. And if you're a divine feminine, hopefully you're understanding because of what's coming through here, what you're sharing is that it is awful behaviour. It's awful that everything that's gone on between you, but it's actually so divine. It is you being loved so deeply. <laughs> um, I feel so vulnerable right now. Yeah, I feel so vulnerable right now because... All my wounds, that hurt, that pain, it's all open. I haven't got a band-aid over it anymore. I'm not distracting myself. I can't escape this journey. And I feel so vulnerable. Um, and feeling vulnerable is a strength. <laughs> so your divine feminine is being strong, trying so hard. Um, and there, there, is, there is nothing for them to hide behind anymore. They're being raw, they're being authentic. And this is different. <laughs> um, but being vulnerable is showing that this the how strong this relationship with higher power, with God, the universe is, because they're feeling more confident to be able to have their heart open and not have layers and layers over their heart protecting them. <laughs> they know that they don't need to hide who they truly are it's okay to be them and to be vulnerable and to love not to be afraid to love nobody gets me like you do yeah nobody gets the divine feminine like you do divine masculine you're the one person that does get them um and um before they weren't able to the divine feminines to be vulnerable and it may fit, if you're a divine feminine that's now that's watching and saying, well, I, I was vulnerable because I opened up and I expressed how I truly feel and all I got was a knockback from my divine masculine. That isn't the truth. He wasn't vulnerable. There was still, um, there, there was still, you were still hiding behind mask, fear. And your divine masculine actually felt that. And when you're being honest and you're with yourself, you understand what I'm actually sharing right now about this vulnerability. They were still, you were still protecting and, and, and coming from this place of being afraid. That is what you've been letting go of, Divine Feminine. And these are beautiful messages from honest communication from your Divine Feminine. And nobody does get your Divine Feminine the way you do, Divine Masculine, because you're one energy, you're one soul. You just have, you just have that deep understanding of each other, and that's because you're one. Um, so I really do hope that this resonates and um, it's made you smile and it's helped you understand the journey more. Um, if you're a divine masculine or a divine feminine that's watching, I hope it's made you smile and that you're feeling peaceful. Um, and if you would like extra support on your awakening journey, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. And remember to stay focused, to believe and trust in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that is within you. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See you. Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh.